Hi, I'm Sharma. I've been practicing and teaching massage therapy for over 12 years now. I've produced about a dozen of massage video courses and I've created several new massage modalities. And this is Rasami, who is very pretty. She is actually the wife of my cameraman, right? Right, but your wife is very pretty too. Thanks, Rasami. I appreciate that. So in this video, Rasami is going to be playing my partner. You know, massage doesn't have to be done in a strictly professional way where you go to some office and you pay money and you receive your massage session. There are so many ways how massage can be used right at home, for example. My wife and myself, we always work on each other and I think you do that too with your husband, right? Yes, we do working on each other sometimes. Yeah, you know, you can easily do that when you watch TV or when you work on the computer, just as part of your life, you can just help each other out with, with some massage therapy. Uh, Russell is an artist, so she paints and so she has to hold her hand up a lot. Remember a couple of weeks ago when you had this problem with your back and you came to me and you asked me if I could work on you a little bit? Uh, was that useful? Yeah, it's really helped a lot. It's helped me continue work. Or for example, let's imagine you play sports and one of your buddies has a real problem, they pull a muscle or something gets really tight. Imagine you can just immediately help that person or just in any social setting. For example, at work, let's imagine you work the whole day in front of a computer and one of your co-worker friends just gives you a five minute neck rub. It would feel pretty good, right? So it's really useful in so many settings. In home, sports, social settings, friends, family, children, sports partners. I mean, massage is something that can be part of your everyday life. I have put together a course that Rasami and I will be showing you how you can really do that. You don't have to be a professional licensed massage therapist to know this, to learn it, to apply it. It's not really that difficult, but you need to have some basic skills and Rasami and I will be showing you how to do that. The techniques that you will be learning in this course, they are practical, they are really useful. You don't need a massage license, you only need that if you charge people money for the massage. You don't need any special setup, you don't need any props, you don't need a massage table, you don't need oil, you don't need a private room, you don't have to trade people, you can do it while people are fully dressed. This is something that I designed to be used as part of life. Your partner comes home, you can use it right then and there in the living room or you just sit or lie on your bed, your friends visit you, you can use it, you can use it in the office, you can use it in the park, wherever you are, you can use it in a very convenient, easy way, anywhere and everywhere. Now let me show you how to work on this area and the muscle that we will be mostly working on is called trapezius. If you just grab the muscle between the neck and the shoulder, that's the trapezius. It runs down the upper part of the back here. It's a big solid muscle. Now when you work on someone, and you feel there is some wobbly movement in your partner's body, you can just put your legs right next to the shoulder and stabilize the upper body that way. So in this video I will show you without my legs, just that you see better what I do with my hands, but you know this is how you stabilize the position. Now everyone knows how to just squeeze a trapezius muscle. I'm sure you have done it and pretty much everyone has done it on someone, on their kids or on a friend or on their spouse. So that's not very difficult, but it's also not very sophisticated. What I will show you is many 
interesting, refined, sophisticated ways how he can work on this area here in a way that makes it so much more interesting than just squeezing a muscle. Because after all, you do this for a few minutes, keep on doing the same thing, it starts to feel not that interesting anymore or even boring. Let's take this simple technique of squeezing the trapezius muscle and turn it into something much more interesting. In order to do that, we have to have several steps. First is your thumbs. You press in and then roll them up. Now your thumbs are staying on the same spot on the skin. You're not sliding over the skin. So you maintain the contact on the same spot and you move the skin and the fascia up. At the same time you squeeze the trapezius between your fingers and your thumbs and you lift it a little bit. And then you roll it back with your fingers. So now you have three parts. The thumb rolls up the muscle, you squeeze and lift, and then you roll back. So I show you this in slow motion. Roll up, squeeze and lift, roll back. Roll up, pull up, pull back. Roll up, lift the muscle, pull back. Now watch what happens with my wrists. You see when I start out they're going down and now they're rising. When I pull back they're dropping again. And that's important. If you try to do this with stiff or locked up wrists it will not feel good. It won't feel fluid. So you have to make sure that you have a totally free, open, loose wrist to do that. Now I'm going to show you this in actual speed. Now it feels really fluid. And you're still using those three elements. You pull up the muscle with your thumbs, lift and squeeze the trapezius muscle, pull back with your fingertips. Now we'll add many different elements one by one. The first one is instead of staying on the same spot you keep moving your thumbs up and down next to the spine. So instead of just doing this you're doing this now. You just keep on moving your thumbs. Next step Imagine instead of working right next to the spine that there is a second line a little bit towards the outside that runs right next to the shoulder blades. So now you have two lines, one next to the spine, one next to the shoulder blades. And you work on that line. Now you don't have to move your thumbs every time. In other words, like this, move, 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 move. You can stay on one spot two, three, four times, then move your thumbs down, move them again. That's a little bit easier to do than move them every time you do that technique. So now you have the basic technique and you know that you can move your thumbs on those two lines up and down. Now we'll add another twist. Instead of just rolling the muscle straight up, you circle with your thumbs. Everything is the same except the thumb movement. In other words, instead of moving up, you circle. You still move the muscle up, but your thumbs are doing a circular movement. And now the move looks like this. You're still lifting the muscle, rolling back, with your index, middle and ring finger, but your thumbs are circling now. It's a totally different effect and it feels also really nice. Now let's add another element. When you feel that there is a lot of tightness 
here in the trapezius muscle, you can work with your fingertips in a more intense way. For example, if you move down, your thumbs are all the way down, and now your fingertips end up right on top of the trapezius muscle naturally. So instead of squeezing now, you can just use your fingertips to circle. Now when you do that, you want to go in and out on the trapezius muscle, from the neck to the shoulders and back. You can do that without even engaging your thumbs, or you can keep your thumbs on there and still do something with the thumbs, but now before the main work was with the thumbs, but now the main work is with the fingertips, and the thumbs are more in a supporting position. So now that is something that works great for people who have some real constriction here. You just feel the knots, the tightness, feels like a rope. This is wonderful. Now let's add another element to the same move. Instead of using both hands at the same time and going up and down, now you use one thumb in the left one, one after the other. So, like this, you're going up and down the spine. Otherwise, the move is the same. You're still lifting the trapezius, still rolling back, but now, instead of using both hands at the same time, you use one after the other. Next element, instead of having, having an even rhythm, in other words, what I was doing is one thumb and the other in the same rhythm. So one, two, one, two, one, two, or right, left, right, left. Now all you do is you change that rhythm. I call it the horse gallop rhythm, because if you watch a horse, when a horse runs, it little bit looks like that. The rhythm is similar to that. And what I mean is that instead of doing right, left, right, left, you shorten the time between right, left, between right and left. So it looks like this, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then you have like a little pause. So it looks like this, right, left, pause, right, left, pause, right, left, pause, pause, right, left, pause, right, left, pause. So I show you how that looks in normal speed. Right, left, 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 right, left. It's the same move. The only difference is instead of doing right, left, right, left, you do right, left, pause, right, left, pause, right, left, pause, like this. And also, again, you use those two lines that we talked about before, go up and down, next to the spine and next to the shoulder blades. This move will take you a little bit to get used to it so that it feels really fluid because it has all those elements. You work with the thumbs and you squeeze and lift and you roll back. So that'll take a little practice, but once you get it, this will be a really wonderful move.